angel of light come into me. Show me what I need to see. Hi, welcome back to the conversation. I've invited you to ask me questions and a video response. I answer them. This week's question is basic. It is what happened? Why don't you have any arms and legs? Well, there is no dramatic story. The answer is very short and sweet. The answer is I was just simply born this way. There's no rhyme or reason. There are theories that the doctors have kicked around as to what happened or what may have caused the condition for which I was born into, but there really was no factual evidence either way as to why I was born without arms and legs. But when I think about the circumstances I was born into, I think of a conversation I had with my friend Trey Ashley Guerin. And we were talking about how, what happened? Did God just stop working on me? Or did, did I, you know, what was it that caused me to just, just to stop developing while I was in my mom's stomach? Well, she made a comment that really resonated with me. She said, Pauline, I think you were born in the perfect body you needed in order, to, in order to fulfill your mission. And when she said that, I immediately started crying because I knew it was the truth. And it was the first time that someone else had expressed that truth that I think subconsciously I had always known all along. So when you think about the circumstances that may have seemed beyond your control, maybe you were born into a family that didn't support you or love you in the way you thought you should have been loved, or maybe an accident happened and you were paralyzed, or maybe your children acted out in a way that wasn't aligned with how you raised them. Whatever the circumstances are, consider that those are the perfect ex circumstances for which you are to be in, in order to fulfill your mission. I can't answer the question of, well then what is my mission or what is my purpose for being here? That is definitely a journey each, each of us takes on our own. And there might be people that come into our lives or tools that come into our lives to help us figure it out. But, I, can, I urge you, I, can, I encourage you to look at your circumstances and don't look at them as good or bad, but perfect in every way. I hope this has enlightened you in some way. I look forward to receiving more questions and answering them in order to create a engaging dialogue and help us to look into ourselves a little more deeper. Thank you so much. And if you are, if you have a burning question on your mind or in your heart, feel free to submit them in the comment section below or send me an email directly to Pauline at PauleneVictoria.com. That email address again is Pauline at PauleneVictoria.com. And be sure to sign up at PauleneVictoria.com so you can get the latest and greatest of what I'm up, what I'm up to. And um, I have a lot of good things in the works, so I'm excited for you to be a part of that journey with me. So thank you so much. And until we meet again, be blessed. Angel of light, come into me. Show me what I